Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiendfolio. We are jumping in again. The Golem episode last time, it was a, a little bit of a disaster. Um, let's just forget about that. We're playing as Lazarus this time around. I like a bit of Laz. I like a bit of Laz. He's he's a fun he's a fun old fella. Um, where are you, Lazarus? There you are. Okay, yeah, let's jump just jump in as Lazarus. We actually haven't done much as Lazarus, to be honest. This is the um commit suicide character. I kind of like that. I think that's fun. Um, a bit, a bit of suicide here and there. Never hurt I anyone. Oh, we got I feel stompy in the first room here. Um, right. Let's uh, let's quickly quick quick. Let's quickly quick. Let's check the question of the day. It's early. I say it's early. It's one p.m. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Du, 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 du. What has to be the funniest label you've been given in life? That's kind of an interesting one. Yeah, what's like the funniest label you've been given? So like what sort of the funniest sort of describing factor someone's given or even just like funny name that you've been called? Um, I probably, uh, uh, pretty obvious to pretty much everyone that watches my videos, I, I pretty much constantly get told two things. One, I talk too much. And two, I talk too loud. Um, those two things are things that are often said to me by both my girlfriend, friends, and family. Um, <laughs> it's like one of the big reasons that, um, I even decided to start doing YouTube, to be honest, because basically I was like, well, I talk loud anyways, and I talk all the time anyways. This is an outlet for me, and just, just so that you know, it hasn't, it hasn't stopped me speaking a lot while uh, I'm with people. I kind of thought, hey, I'll use this as an outlet, and then I want you to talk as much around people. Nope. Not how it works. Not how it works at all. But yeah, be interested to know what's like the funniest label that you've been given by someone else. That That's a really good question of the day, I think. I think there's a, a lot of different things. Ooh, Baby Pluto. There's a lot of different things that could be done with that. I love Baby Pluto. He's the cutest. He's the cutest little fella. Oh. I've just had lunch and um, I've been, like I said, I've been trying to lose weight. So I've been having these like pita breads with like a bit of turkey and a bit of tzatziki. And oh my god. All I can taste right now is just pure garlic, and it's sensational. It's it's quite awesome. I love it. But just something that I want to quickly talk about um, when we start this episode here. I've been trying out a new mod recently that's on the workshop. That's still... Um, ooh, this is actually a... Whoa, my God. Um, I might get hit here, but honestly, I'm just going to risk it. How the... Flipping flip did I not get hit there. That's incredible. <laughs> but anyways, there's this mod. I'm going to go quickly make sure I get the name right on Steam. I'm pretty sure it's uh, a pretty simple name. But the mod is called Balance Mod. It's it's going to get renamed at some point. But at the minute, it's just called Balance Mod. It currently only has 91 current subscribers on the Steam Workshop. And I think this mod, while in development and still early in development, deserves a lot more attention. So... This mod does a lot of things in terms of changing balance of items in the game. And actually, the developer recently took on two of my suggestions and implemented them into the game. Uh, so I'm just going to go over a few of the different patch notes to tell you what this what, what it does in terms of items. So some of the items that it's changed here is... Um, it's changed... Um, it's changed data miner. So now it's basically like... It will still glitch out the um, sprites of things, but now it's just like a flat damage interior up for the room that can be used multiple times, rather than giving you permanent stat changes and kind of ruining things. So I think that's a decent change. Breath of Life has been made a lot easier to use, um, while having more risk associated with it. You have a much shorter frame of time to do damage, but you have a visible indicator of while you're invincible. Plan C now only kills you after you leave the room. So if you use it on Delirium, you can actually get the kill with it. Mum's pad no longer fears, instead it adds the Rotten Tomato effect to enemies that are nearby. Lemon Mishap now applies Confusion uh, to enemies that are on its creep to differentiate it from um, the free lemonade item. The D10 got a massive rework. It um, Basically now, instead of um, being a one room charge and rerolling all enemies into ones of similar health, it's a free ro three room charge, it can only reroll champions, but when it rerolls a champion, they will still drop their item, their reward. So if you reroll a champion that's supposed to drop money, it will reroll into a new enemy that isn't a champion, but it will still give you the money that it would have given otherwise. And certain champions have uh, specific drops. I, there, there's a big list of them on the patch notes. Black Beans had its knockback increased. The Razor Blade gives 1.8 uh, damage up from 1.2. 
Abel got a pretty big rework. Now he automatically aims and shoots the nearest enemy um, and he has spectral, but also he can collect items and uh, pickups on in the room. So basically you can use his mirrored movement to get stuff over gaps and behind rocks. Um, Dead Bird now applies slowing. Um, and then there's a few changes to some enemies in terms of health, but there's also that that's just the um, the release patch notes There's some other patch notes here as well. Mum's bottle of pills had its charge reduced from six to five Monstro's two from three to two um, Let's have a look at some of the other ones. I'm trying to rush through them here um, duh, 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 duh. And then here's some of the ones that were added from my suggestions. So Perfection now doesn't get completely removed in a single hit. This is a change that I'm not particularly a huge fan of, but it's the developer's option. Basically, now you lose a certain amount of luck each time you get hit and eventually it breaks. How to jump now grants a short amount of invincibility, meaning you can enter cursed rooms using it. Cursed Eye, cursed eye deals less knockback. And these are the two suggestions from me. The jar now actually, as an active, just holds a heart that you can be that can be used basically to kind of act as a holy mantle. You put a heart into it and it takes damage from the heart in the jar before anything else. You can only hold one heart in the jar though now. So it's not like a, a thing to be able to move floor to the next move health to the next floor. Instead now it's the ability to have like an extra heart. Little Baggy now also identifies all pills. That's another one of my suggestions. And the other one, the rework, is um, Milk now doesn't actually just give you a fire rate increase for the room. It drops a, a, a larger creep puddle and being stood on that creep gives you a stat increase. Uh, so Milk's been reworked a little bit. But yeah, thank you for the developer to listen to my, listening to some of my changes. But this mod's probably going to get a decent amount of work over the coming months and different balances and tweaks. And I just think the, the mod deserves a little bit more of a, of a spotlight. It's got a very uh, unassuming name just being called balance mod that's because the mod is still in development um but so far the developers done a pretty good job at implementing things and really changed some uh some items some of them are just like little buffs or changes whereas other ones are pretty much complete reworks and i, I think that um it kind of deserves a little bit more of a look at do we have a place to um to kill ourselves yet I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do so far is use our cash room uh, door to kill myself and then like go into the cash room. Slightly odd room design here, but I'm honestly not too bothered about taking damage. I love the changed vocals for uh, for uh, characters here. I'm trying to use little Pluto a little bit too much here. Oh, that was that was nice. Considering his damage isn't all that good, that's not really a great idea. Okay, if there's any black hearts here, do not pick them up. There's a burn heart there, don't pick that up. There's another burn heart there, and a crawl space, sadly, that we've already been into. What the hell? Oh. Excuse me. Expect HP down is pretty bad for us there. Amnesia. Right. Go back over this way. Let's do our boss first. Yeah, HP down essentially lowers the amount of times we can kill ourselves, which isn't great. So we'll hopefully get another HP up from the boss here, but I'm still going to be a little miffed about that. God damn. Maybe Pluto is just so good. A black rune here is also really nice as well, because if we get some dookie items, we can still make use of them. This is the guy that does the Omega Rush and spawns the spiders, if I can remember correctly. Yes. There he is. I'm basically, like, playing as if I don't care about dying, because I don't. Um, as long as I don't die now. <laughs> That's the one nice thing about Lazarus, especially on the first floor. You can literally play like you just don't care. And it kind of, it fits his theme. Just gotta be really careful about that dash that this guy does. Okay, nice. And we did get HP here. We've already revived. So we grab the HP. We grab the soul heart. Come back over here. Um, I'm gonna go to my cash room. I realize it's gonna cost me a soul heart and I probably should have just done it before picking up the soul heart. And it's going to be a little bit of a waste, but I'm going to be killing myself next floor anyways. And we got a black heart anyways, so it worked out. And we got crystal key. Hell yes. I love crystal key. Crystal key so much fun. Right. Um, we also buy this, because why not? And we bomb that, because why not? Good, good. Right. Let's be on our way here. I'm, I'm hoping we get some interesting synergy with Remote Detonator. I actually really like Remote Detonator. I think it can be quite useful. And um, we don't have a key to go down. Um, I can't remember where, whereabouts we're meant to be going here, to be honest. Let's have a little look-see. 
Um, but yeah, another another like funny label that I was given, especially at school, is a, like a good amount. I won't say a ton, but it, it happened more than once. So it definitely was. Ooh, we managed to charm everything. It happened like three or four times throughout school. I got labelled as a stoner even though I'd never smoked weed at school at any point. Um, just because apparently, like, I don't know, maybe I was just too tired and my eyes always looked like they were stunned. <laughs> and people used to always think I was, like, not not like my friends and stuff, but like, when I did, like, that was rude. When I'd, like, first speak to people, they'd be like, are you high? And I'm like, why do I look high? I don't know why I look high. But then, like, as well, to be fair, I'm not going to deny it because um, my, my mum showed me a picture that I took on my first day of secondary school, where it was uh, it was me holding um, holding up a picture of my first day at um, preschool. So it was like um, my first day at preschool and my first day at high school. And I look so, I, I must've just been really tired. I must like just woken up, but God damn, I look so damn high. And yeah, for some reason I got like labeled as that by a few different people a few times throughout school, which I just found kind of funny. Especially considering at the time I, I'd never, I'd never tried anything like that, so I didn't even know, like, what it, what, what I would look like if I had. But yeah, people were like, are you high? I'm like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> my, my face apparently is, but I'm not. Oh, god damn. Doot, doot. Okay, soul heart there, that's really good to know. We also got another red room here. I think crystal key scales with luck, right? I can't remember. Honestly, babe, that our baby Pluto here is doing a fantastic job. Oh my god. I love the fact that it can spawn red rooms off of red rooms. I think that's such a fantastic ability of this item. Right, here's our item room. Baby Pluto just ate that shot there for me, thank you. These guys are kind of tricky because the fire starts off so small and grows. It can be kind of hard to, to identify. This is a black rune situation, I think. And we gained a bit of fire rate and a bit of shot speed. Obviously, the shot speed's not too valuable, but fire rate, of course, is really good. One makes you larger. I love the fact that one makes you larger pill gives him stompy. So many pills. There's I feel stompy for us if we want it as well. Which is probably actually a good idea in a room like this. Wasn't actually that useful, but there you go. I'll go back and get the other I feel stompy, because why not? There was a spider in here somewhere. I don't know if he walked into a fire or something. Maybe. I'm going to grab this other I feel stompy, just because there might be another situation where there's a rock we want to destroy. Right, um... Soul Heart will leave there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, uh, do both my cash rooms here. I think uh. that is interesting. Um, it's actually a very, very good item for us here, so I'm happy with that. Now the question is, do I try and get this Burn Heart, or do I go to my other cash room and get? I'm, I'm going to leave first. Let's go to my other cash room first. I think, I think I can keep that burn heart if I play this right. So basically my thinking is, I go into this other cash room, I come out with half a heart. We got our ultra secret room here, nice. We get brimstone from it, that's probably the best ultra secret room I've ever had. Also, I haven't had brimstone in so fucking long. Also, we managed to open an arcade here that we can't actually get into. Maybe we have to bomb it? We do. Hello, sirs. Um, I'll bomb you two. Oh, you drop little rock spiders, that's kind of cool. Right, so I think now I come back over this way. Um, that's pretty useful. I'll take that. Wait, no, no, no. I need one of them. Come out here. Okay. I think I've done this right. My brain's a little scrambled right now, but I think I've done this right. So now, I think... I can't believe we've got Brimstone out there. That's so good. So I think what we do now is we go into here. Then we kill ourselves in here. Using the door. 
It should respawn us in here. We pick up the burn heart. We pick up this so we don't lose the burn heart. Then we leave, we keep the burn heart. See, it's all coming together. Then we come over here, we grab this to protect the burn heart. Then we come over here and get this red heart to fill the burn heart. See, look at that. Perfection. That worked out so well. Right, and we got brimstone. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, for God, this is a boss that I, I just can't fathom how to beat correctly. I don't know if I'm just dumb, and this is like a really easy boss or something, but I have a really hard time with him. I mean, with brimstone, he's certainly nowhere near as bad as I'd normally find him, because he's dying pretty quick. But he's a boss that I find incredibly tough. Whipping Cream, unfortunately, doesn't really do anything for us, and a Devil Deal is just not a good idea, but I'm, I might as well take it. I mean, it literally does nothing for us, I don't think. Um, I'm going to keep my key and go down. Let's just check where, we, where we're meant to be going here. So, we can do... Hmm. We can do normal path this way. Okay, odd room there. Very strange. I might do mother, and you, you might be thinking, well, you don't have key piece one. I can just cheat it in. It's fine. Um, I, I want to show off another mod that I downloaded recently. In fact, let me just quickly go through some of the mods that I downloaded recently, because I downloaded a few new ones. Um, I got... Ooh, this is one that I need to actually tweak. I forgot about this. If I finish this room real quick, wherever this uh, Teddy Boy is. It's two Teddy Boys. I like the way that our tiny Pluto just kind of counts as like a little bit of additional knockback for us. Right, so if I quick L here, I got a mod that we should be able to find somewhere in here. So double tap familiars is one. Um, Bob's Brain is on double tap. Holy Water single. Little Chubby single. Big Chubby single. J Jawburn I can put on single, Full Knife is on single, Little Portal's on double, Abyss Locus is on single. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. We got we got that going on. Um, da -da 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 -da. We got Eden stats, so we can tell what's different with our Eden stats. We need to turn the base probability of that up a little bit, because I've not seen a single blessing yet, so we'll do that too. No locked alt paths. This is the one that I was talking about. Don't require knife piece. Nice. Okay. Don't spawn the Polaroid negative. Only spawn both if the first is beaten. I'm not sure. I I'm just going to see what that is as is. Um, Where the hell is the other thing that I'm thinking of here? Cheaper heart deals. Okay. So. This is a cool mod. Um, Where... You can enable Soul Heart characters to have cheaper deals. And you can change the pricing. Okay, you can't actually change these. It just says True Devil Price on all of them. Ah, that's why. Okay, I see. Cool. So, basically, that means that all Soul Heart characters get that cheaper deal uh, thing that Blue Baby got. Which I think is kind of an interesting way to slightly buff Devil Deals. It might end up being a little overpowered, but honestly, Devil Deal's item pool isn't crazy, so I think it's fine. But yeah, I'm going to try something out with the um, with the, the no lock to alt path thing, and we'll see how that works out. Me just sat there waiting for the, uh, waiting for the stupid thing to um, blow up, and I'm like, oh wait, yeah, I have a thing that makes that not happen, right? Ow. This is tricky. There's a lot going on right now. Also, we got three nickels in this room. Oh, there were spikes there. Shit. I don't really care about taking bad damage at the minute, because obviously I'm kind of looking to die at the at some point during this floor. We did manage to get one of these and a crawl space as well to go with it. That's the mime item. I'll take the mime item. I haven't seen it in a little while. I quite like it. When we get hit, we don't make noise anymore. We just put up a little a little note thing. And also, we can create these fake blocks that stop enemies from passing through them, which is kind of useful. Check this out. I'm just going to buy the key for now, unfortunately. Actually, I'll buy the sack as well. Why not? 
Go ahead and yeet that coin away, please. Okay. Keep moving along. Might want to go back to that big room over there. I'm looking for a um, a sacrifice room here, to be honest, because I've got a Soul of Forgotten. Soul of Forgotten is amazing for sacrifice rooms. Ho hopefully we get something interesting to synergize with Brimstone, and that is that is certainly one thing that does. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Can I get off this little lily pad, please? Thank you. Ouch. <laughs> See, I love that. It's so funny. Right, let's just do the boss now and we can come back for any other stuff we want to go for. But yeah, stepping on these blocks will move them. We essentially want them nearer to the middle of the room than anything else. We lost our burn heart. Okay, that... He spewed up into the air and it never came down. I think that's because th he was stood on one of those blocks. And so most of his spew went straight into that block. And got eaten up by it. Another not great item here. Another not so great item. A little bit of a shame with that so far. Yeah, I really like Ice Dolls with Brimstone. It doesn't always profit. Okay, that is perfection itself. Now I think we go... Oh, for God's sake, I keep getting stuck on these lily pads. Right, go in here. I realise this looks like a bad idea right now. But, because obviously we're going to exit and we're going to die. But we should get iframes to be able to leave. Yeah, there you go. And then we can just pick up these two. And get the hell out of here. I think that worked out pretty pretty fantastic, to be honest. Um, My planetarium chance isn't working for some reason. Maybe that's just because I don't have any. But normally you start with 1%. So, let me just check that I've got that mod enabled. Um, I think it's on top rated all time, isn't it? Top rated all time. Planetarium chance, there it is. I am subscribed to it, but I'm not quite sure why that's not working. Okay, um, I think that's it. I'm not going to bother going all the way back. Let's go down again. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and go mother here and see how it works. Because I, I want to see how this mod ends up working. So we're on caves 2 now. Health is looking a little low, but mostly fine. These guys are a little problematic. We could do with a little fire rate increase as well. Fire rate's not bad at the minute. But could be do to be a little bit better. I'm not sure where we got our damage up from. Is that from um, our black room maybe? No, that was, that was fire rate, wasn't it? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, nice. Dude. We got two boss discs. <laughs> I mean, I know they'll only last a minute, so not super useful to, to use them both at once. That's still a lot of fun. Oh, I got double hit there. Again, though, I don't really care that much about losing my health. Because I'm only going to end up killing myself anyways. As long as I don't die in, like, a stupid location. These really poorly dudes are so good. I'm hoping I can make my trinket gold at some point or, like, get a boost to it because once you get that thing, like, doubled, it's so fucking good. You need, like, a mum's box or something to, to work, work with it. Hey, I like that. I like rooms that do that where it's, like, slightly an inconvenient to traverse a room, but once you finish it, it's just like, hey... We're going to remove that inconvenience. It was only it was only for combat. Hey, it's me. Started to lose our boss items now, but yeah. Love a little turtle fella. He's the best. He's got good knockback and everything. Fire's good. He's not as good in the late game, but he's just he's just fun to have around. I really don't mind keeping a QE around. I'm liking all the leeches that we managed to get while we had that item from the boss disc. That was pretty useful. Yeah, we have two of, like, the cutest little companions I've ever known with us today. See, buttons are worth it, people. Buttons are worth it. People are always dissing on buttons. I don't think they're half bad. 
leeches do your thing. Still another one of these mushrooms over here. Oh, the mushroom didn't spawn in the correct location because one of those mine blocks spawned where it should have spawned. That's pretty funny. Okay, nice. We can do the boss straight away. This is, oh, wait, this is Caves 2. Yeah, Caves 2 is fine, right? I'm, I'm going to do the other room first just in case. I'm thinking of the wrong floor, I think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking in uh, depths rather than caves. Damn it. These enemies are so frustrating. Double bombs, nice. Okay, still no sack room, sadly. They are unfortunately um, a little bit rare for us right now. And I say Sacra Blur to that, indeed. We got the Bat Boss, which shouldn't honestly be too hard, especially if we lead it into our leeches. As you can see, they do quite a lot of damage. Jesus Juice is fantastic here. Got our Angel Deal, which this is the perfect room to kill ourselves in. Because we're going to get an Eternal Heart here. And then a soul heart from the soul locket itself. Very, very nice. And then I don't think there's much else we want to do here, apart from maybe just blow up a few of these. Eh. I'm not going to blow them all up. I don't want to waste all my bombs on that. Um, okay. We're pretty good to go. Hot to trot. I, I really like the way Lazarus plays now. He's why I always take him when he comes up in the randomizer. Because he's just... he's He's got so much more risk-reward and, like... There's so much more reason to stay at low health. I really like characters that give you a reason to be at low health. Because this game is, is made quite easy um, in quite a lot of respects when you get a lot of HP, but you don't have much ways to get rid of it or much reason to get rid of it. The runs that are always the best is when you're on like a good Devil Deal streak and you're trading away all your HP and you're really low HP when you get to the womb and runs like this where you've got reason to, to always have very few red hearts sort of thing. Ooh, I did not see that block there. I think they're the, they're the ways the game plays best. I'm going to leave that soul heart there. I don't know what these little dudes do. They, they inhabit things, don't they? Right, quickly before we go to that red room, let's check this out. Not a particularly good one, but considering we're trading HP away anyways, let's go for it. And we got the toy box, which I fucking love as an item. I think it's so good. The Eternal Heart will definitely leave for later. I love the way that every wave that you do of these counts as a chance towards opening up a red room. Also, I think that's a tinted rock right there. Oh shit, there's three of them. Right, so I think that's a tinted rock right there. It's a double tinted rock, in fact. Oh, and we get the giant boulder as well. Hell yes. Okay, well, let's pop this. This thing here will give us four random trinkets. So we got Mega Bean, Monkey Paw, Finger Burn, and Samson's Lock. All decent. None of them amazing, but all decent. That was just stupid. But again, I don't really care. Spawn three random bomb pickups. Three of clubs. Okay, let's get out of here. Right, this is our regular shop. Spawns a shop chest nearby. Honestly, hell yes. That is a good shop. We've not been to our item room yet either, so... This is going to be kind of tricky. How the hell do I buy the item I want to buy here? There you go. School bag is, like, tempting, but not super useful. Uh, I think this is the time in which we kill ourselves. We've got plenty of means around the floor, and we just got a black... We got two black hearts out of Monkey's Paw, I think, there. Does Monkey's Paw... Because normally, like, uh, uh, one finger will curl up, like, each time you... Um, one finger will curl each time that you have a black heart. You can do it three times. That's kind of the whole point of the item, right? But does that count? Like, does it work the same way when it's smelted? Because it's not... Neither of the, th the fingers have curled, right? If, if I'm thinking about that correctly, normally it only works three times. Now, Remote Detonator, you've been good to me, but we have um, we have some, some better stuff now. 
Hey, there's our ultra. Nice. And that's two good ultras in a row. We get Abyss. Which, honestly, I think Abyss is super, super, super good reason to go and buy the, um, the backpack. I think we come over this way. Back into our shop here. We buy this. Just because that is going to be really, really good with Abyss. Because at first I was like, eh, 15 cents to be able to hold Remote Detonator just really isn't my shtick. Especially when we don't have any bomb upgrades. But, on the other hand, 15 cents to be able to hold Abyss as well. Hell yes, I'll take that. And then these, I'm just going to pop. We got a uh, black heart in here that got changed over. Nice. So this, we just want to abyss. And we get a bunch of bomb abyss flies. Nice. I like it. And we've got a bunch of these little diamonds for our daggers. Ooh, that's a good trinket. But unfortunately, we cannot hold that. Item room. Model rocket. I don't actually know if Model Rocket will do anything. I'd very much like to see what the Abyss Fly of that does, though. Die, fiend. Yeah, I don't think the uh, increase to range and shot speed will do anything for Brimstone. It might have some special interaction that I don't know about, so I apologize if it, if it does. But I want to go and do that. And it gave us a red one. I don't know what that does. It's suppo There's supposed to be special ones for Fiend Folio, so I'm assuming that red one does have some unique properties. But right now I can't see what they are. Um, don't know where this came from. I'm going to guess one of my free trial items. Just glitter bombs. Don't think we need to buy glitter bombs, I'll be honest. Crack this chest open. These chests are bizarre. It's just like pay money so that you can pay out with money. <laughs> okay. Strange trade, but whatever. Okay. I could go back and see if there's a sack room back there, but honestly, I think I'm past that point now. I can't be asked backtracking all that way. I'm really bad for that. I'm really lazy in terms of backtracking, but... And I know a bunch of people will be like, oh, we'll install a good trip then, but I'm like, no. no. <laughs> okay, marbles is really good because we might be able to smell um, this trinket. Praying for Devil Deal. Grants the damage up. Can you, like, pop your head up, please? What was that other one? Paying for a devil deal grants damage up. My stamina take my stamina only gain a, sh a smaller amount. Okay. that All those trinkets are whatever. Being able to smell our crystal key when we take damage is really the, the, the true prize here. Okay, so we're looking for a fool card on the next floor. Because I think, if I remember correctly, this should this should work the way I'm thinking it does. Let's, let's just get prepared for that. Okay. We're, we're probably at this point past the point of wanting to die every floor, considering our health and damage are really good. Um, and our fire is decent. We don't need to kill ourselves every floor. So if we don't find a good excuse to do so on this floor, I'm not going to force myself to. This Okay, this is kind of bullshit because this one isn't... This, this blue block isn't where it's supposed to be, so I'm just going to have to take damage to get that one. That was that was a little bit mean game. You think you're funny, pal? You think you're funny? I love the rework to these guys with Fiend Folio. Adding in the little, the little dudes as part of their gimmick. I think I have to take that. This is... Okay, this is definitely a suck-up sort of one. I don't care about that item in the slightest. Gotta, gotta take you, because you're cute. We haven't seen the skull yet. Keep an eye out for that. Still haven't seen a sack room yet. 
Although, like I said, there could have been one on the last floor that I just couldn't be asked to find. I never noticed that those guys are basically just big versions of these little charges. That's pretty cool. Boom, boom. Undefined. Do, I just want to check. Okay, it, I, I was wondering if it maybe sucked up that. Because it was um, giving me the description, but I didn't think it would. I had to try it. Okay. So. Want to come over here. Still yet to find our full... Uh, excuse me. Okay, these guys have been reworked as well. They now um, appear faster. So we should see them not taking six years to reappear, which is nice. Do we have an immortal heart or something? What's what's that noise? I know that we picked one up, but I thought I thought we got rid of it. More HP. Okay, I think this is the time where we say goodbye to the killing ourselves strategy and just take things. Normally, it's at about this point that I say goodbye to it anyways. It's normally it's about this point that you want to start building up your HP. But in the early game, you get to play with that risk. Nice. Killing things pretty quick now as well. Double pill drops and fat fine, thank you. What? Not sure which one of you are. Red room there, thank you. A beautiful. Did we get a red room there that we never visited? Eh, uh, sadly not very good, but we get to glass D6 this. Fettered Heart is. It's worth it, but I'm going to roll big. I'm going to roll big, and I've rolled big. I've rolled into Isaac's heart. Some of you may think that is a colossal mistake. But for one, I don't know if you can tell, but Isaac's heart technically farts, and G Gigantabino, or whatever it's called, actually triggers its increased knockback effect on Isaac's heart, which I did not know. Very interesting information. Still haven't found our um, our fool's card, from what I can see. I don't really need to do that, to be honest. Oh, here it is. So if I've you're going to be left behind for now. Quarter? Um, I'll take the quarter. We've got a few shops coming up. Eh, if we had room for the nurturing kit, I'd buy it, but we don't. I will take that. Okay. We've got our full card. Let's get the hell out of here. Try to check if we if we actually went into this red room here. I'm almost certain we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we should see something a little different in that room that we just passed. Once we get back over there, that is. I mean, Isaac's heart means we can take the reflected and see if it's a soul heart. It's not. We can also go into the cash room, which I completely forgot about and walked right past. That's always good form, Turtle. That's always a good idea. Where the hell am I going? Okay, let's fight you. Way past boss rush timing. I, I tend to just not make boss rush anymore at all. Okay, at the moment, I'm completely unable to charge Isaac's heart, which is... Strange. I'm not sure why that is. I was able to charge it a moment ago. After picking up Tiny Turma, I can no longer charge it, apparently. It's weird. Okay, so then I think I want to take the Polaroid here. 
which is fine. We'll check this devil deal, because why not? I would like that, thank you. Um, and I would like that, thank you. And then we full card out of here. So now we shred the Polaroid here. And as you can see, there is a new thing here. So this weighs to the Ascent. But if we decide to trade some HP here, we can open this door up. And this will take us to the regular Mausoleum. Or Mausoleum 2, should I say. will take us to the normal one. I say normal. I say normal. But this is, um... This is not normal. This is quite abnormal, I have to say. Don't worry, though. We got this. We got this. Don't worry about it. Um, why is... Oh, we entered the cash room, I think. I was confused at why that was there. Firming enemies in this situation, not a good combination. Let me just quickly try... Okay. That's options. I can't even see the fucking options menu. I can't even quit. How many is it? One down? Okay, one down. Let's continue and see if that fixes it. It did. Huzzah. I have literally no idea what was going on there. No idea. If anyone could describe to me how on earth that bug came to be, I would be quite intrigued because it is quite something. I do seem to have some weird issues with my shaders in general. Like, just watch my screen as I enter this room. It'll flash for like a frame in the wrong colour. Oh no, I didn't do it this room. Isaac's heart, you stay out of this. Dude, Isaac's heart, I said stay the fuck out of this. What are you doing? Okay, health is not looking great. Well, this is something. Damn it, I picked wrong. I wanted continuum. Although, do you know what? Getting conjoined ain't half bad. Getting conjoined ain't half bad. I can't believe we like made it through as many rooms as we did there. But at least if I know that glitch if that glitch happens again, I have a way out of it. Yeah, that was quite something. Oh, what the hell are you? I don't wanna don't know if I wanna mess around with you. I don't know why I can no longer charge Isaac's heart as well. I'm going to have to just quickly test something. Right. Remove... A pony synergy is having some crazy stuff going on. Um, remove Tiny... Terma. Yeah, Tiny Terma is just completely removing my ability to charge um, Isaac's heart. <laughs> Very strange. I'm going to keep that removed for now. I don't, I'm not sure what, why that interaction is happening. It might be something to do with, like, familiar cap or something. Oh, hello, secret room. Eye of Greed. Could be decent. Yeah, you can see the shade is having some weird... Weird issues. I do have the, uh, the, the, the No Fog mod, so maybe it's the No Fog mod. Okay, we've seen our item room and stuff, so now if we go through here, we fight. Oh shit, I didn't realise it was the triple step mum.
So this gives us knife piece two. So if we go give knife knife piece one, and we can do that. Okay. I agree it's good for stunning. I don't know what's blocking all the shots right now. There's a lot of shot blocking going on. I mean, I'm happy with it. I don't know what's causing it. But yeah, see? Like a, a, a unique way to get back to Mausoleum if you'd like to. I like that. Um, One second. Oh my god, it's glitching out again. What the hell? Continue. This is weird. <laughs> right. Oh no, it's like still glitched out. One sec. Okay. I tried to fix the problem, and now my entire run is just a black screen. Like, this This is the game running. What you can see now is the game. Like, you can hear me. Look, listen. You can hear me walking around. I'm able to control my character, but I can't see anything, and I don't know why. So I'm going to try and fix this. <laughs> okay, we are back and I have somewhat recreated my run. Like, I, the game unfortunately was buggered. I, I don't know what happened. Um, I, I'm i not sure if that was a, a graphics card failure on my end. I was talking about the graphics card problems I was having previously. It's very plausible they, uh, they stuck somewhat around. Oh, hello, fellas. Um, and yeah, that could have caused the issue. Or um, it was something to do with my, the most recent mods I've installed. I'm hoping it's to do with the mods I've installed, not my graphics card. But what was weird, see, I thought it might be my graphics card, but the recording's picking it up. And if it was my graphics card, I don't think the recording would be picking it up. Because, like, the recording that I've got only picks up the game. It doesn't pick up any overlays or anything happening to my screen. So it wouldn't make much sense for the recording to pick up the game booking out due to graphic due to my graphics card so yeah i'm, I'm really I, I i'll be honest i'm really not sure also i i'm pretty sure my stats are like not even close to what they were before and i'm probably missing a solid like five or six different items um but hey and we're also having to do mausoleum again because yeah but it is what it is we're we're, we're back in it somewhat i i hope you guys can um be okay with this because unfortunately it is what it is that run was just unrecoverable um it just like it did that first thing where it kind of split in half then it did that again but then when i rebooted the game to try and fix it it was just all black um and yeah i'm not really sure oh we got a champion loki here who is this is herming loki hello i also didn't didn't know exactly what health i was on so i just kind of made it up but I've spawned back in the key items I could remember, which were Brimstone, Eyesaws, Baby Turtle, Baby Pluto, School Bag. I did try to spawn in the Whistle, but it just didn't let me. Um, but we, we do have the Abyss. It Was it after the Mum fight that it happened? I can't even remember where it happened. Or were we already on the Corp by the time it happened? But yeah, I, I'm, I probably ought to give myself a bit more damage. I think I was on slightly more damage than I'm currently on. But I'm not going to buff myself too much if I don't exactly know. I'll be honest. I don't want to cheese it. I'm sure I'm missing a ton of stuff. I mean, I definitely know I have way more items than this. Yeah, so we got the knife piece. Give. Knife. Piece. One. Excuse me? Oh, that's remove. Whoopsie. Give. There you go. Okay, now we fight you again. We had some sort of constant damage blocking going on with this fella before. And I'm not sure what was causing it. One second. I'm not sure if it's baby Pluto or if it's my turtle baby. Or it, maybe it's just that block that's there. I think it might just be that block that's there, you know. It is. It's the block. Okay. I thought it was maybe one of their familiars that was doing it. Yeah, damage sucks. Okay, let, let me just uh, give myself another pentagram here. Just to make my damage a little more on par with where it was before. 
I don't want to buff myself too much, but I definitely had more damage than that, so. <laughs> I don't want to completely struggle boss. Yeah, I'm definitely missing some key items out of this room because we wrecked this boss last time. But I don't remember what they were at all. Oh, we had Soul Locket as well, didn't we? I remember we had Soul Locket. It's a very long uh, boss fight here. I think it was on going to the uh, to the corpse that it broke. So we'll see if it breaks again, shall we? I'm hoping, basically, if this works this time, I'm hoping it's just something to do with a combination of the items that we had. And yeah, it worked just fine. So I'm assuming it was a combination of the items we had. If anyone can suss out what that was, if it was a my PC issue or a game issue, that would be very helpful. Because I, I am very, very not in the clear about what happened there. Very confused. But this mother fight is probably going to be pretty hard. We also did unfortunately lose some of our um, abyss flies. Because I, I genuinely cannot remember how to spawn in pedestals. Excuse me. Tail baby, something small. Like it's... How do you spawn a pedestal? Spawn... Pedestal. Item. Item pedestal. Item pedestal last will. I don't remember what it was now. Spawn remote detonator. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to spawn a pedestal. It's like five. I, th I thought it was like five point something. Five point one point. I don't know. Ten point. I don't know. That's hearts. I can't remember. It's something along those lines. Also, we're definitely having some um, some bugs with the pony synergy, and along with other things. So pony synergy is having a, a whale of a time here. Also, cursed eyes having a, a whale of a time as well. I might need to remove the Aperny Synergy mod because that's causing quite a lot of errors right now. Ooh, I like these little corners in the wall full of spiders. Hoping we're going the right way here, but I have absolutely no earthly idea if that's true or not. I love the eye source with Brimstone. Let's get this, like, star shot of Brimstones crossing the entire room. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to review the footage after this to see if it does show up in the recording. But I'm fairly sure it does because it showed up in OBS. So, we'll see. But very, very weird visual bug, whatever it was. But then again, my my game, but my PC, sorry, is just like really cursed. Like every game I play, I have very weird bugs and glitches that no one else seems to get. It just seems to be commonplace for me. I don't really know why. Ouchie. Calm yourself, fur. Fur? I meant sir. Ooh, what are these guys? Ooh, these are new to me. Oh, what the hell? There's some speedy boys. Oh my god, I got hit so much there. They were very new to me. I was not very understanding of what they were doing. But I got hit a lot. I might end up dying here just due to lack of items at this point, but it is what it is. Yeah, we don't really know, sir. He's the grabber boy. I love the grabber dudes. Get, get behind there. I'm gonna do some sky shots, painting in the sky. Oh, Mr. Dead! I've been waiting, waiting for ages to fight this guy. Such a cool boss. The corpse version of Mr. Fred. A very strong boss that might kill me, but I don't understand his attack patterns. I want to keep the blocks in, like, decent places, but right now they've all spawned in kind of crappy spots. Yeah, he spawns a lot and a lot of different enemies. And he's, as you can see, got an insane amount of HP. Goddamn, my bomb moved a bit too far away there. 
Luckily, he seems to be a boss that I can keep a reasonable distance against, and that kind of works. I think because Brimstone's so piercing, it's doing a really good job of clearing everything out. I imagine if you're just firing tears, this boss is going to be significantly harder. But a really well-designed and cool boss nonetheless. There you go. Jesus juice is rather nice for us. Okay, on our way to Mother, things are a bit scary right now. Things are a little scary right now. Let's keep a move in. Ow. We've got some Morbid Hearts to back us up, which is nice. But I have a feeling that's not going to be quite enough. I don't actually know how Morbid Hearts work once you get to the one... Uh, where, where you're dealing one heart of damage all the time. Because obviously normally they take three hits. Is it just they take two in these areas? Or do they still take three? Ow, how did that hit me? Okay, no, they just take two. Yeah, one of them's gone. I feel like my hitbox is huge right now, but I think that's just because of Isaac's heart. <laughs> I'm just taking all the stupid damage because of Isaac's heart. Looks like we're going to die, but... The, I think... Oh my god. I, I think I'm just going to blame this on the glitchiness, but... My game is just buggered. I might just do a fresh reinstall of all of my mods and see if that helps. That sometimes does help. Oh, hello, sir. You're rather big and mighty. You are taking quite a bit of damage. Oh god. Almost got hit by that guy. Nice. Extra heart for us here. Okay. We, have, we had I agreed as well. I'm just remembering that now. That's sadly gone. Thankful those blocks disappeared after I killed them guys because... Those are really annoying otherwise. Oh, wrong way. Just, just get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, Isaac's heart. Oh, I still got hit anyways. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Isaac's heart, I cherish you, but god damn, you are a devil. I cherish you so deeply, but you are quite a miscreant. Oh, stay away, eyes. Stay away. No, no. Uh, Try so hard. No, no. Oh, you bastard. It got it. Oh, anyways, I'll end this episode off here. I don't know what the hell happened towards the end there. If anyone can suss it out, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.